and happy Sunday fun day if you are already aware and maybe that's my fault for having not made it a bigger deal but tomorrow is my birthday turning 35 so this weekend it's been chill vibes only I actually took all of next week off and then the following Monday off so I've got like a, a good chunk of time to just like do Caleb things I'm super excited so today we're going out thrifting I know, I know, crazy town, right? No, we're gonna hit up a couple of my, well, one of my favorite thrift slash vintage shops because I wanna buy something for the apartment. You know, it's getting cold out. I'm like in like nesting energy and I just wanna like decorate and I wanna reupholster a little chair too. Like I've just been like itching for a project and since it's my birthday, I'm gonna treat myself, maybe, maybe. There's a new store that we're gonna check out too that's literally just up the road and apparently just as much fun. So I'm hoping hoping it's good. They're both supposedly open until six on Sundays and it is almost noon. So Zane needs to hurry up and get ready so we can go shop. Join us. It's going to be a really fun, nice, chill day. And uh, I'm here for it. But first. Yeah, I'll take a grande pumpkin spice latte. Grande pumpkin spice latte. Was that going to be hot or ice? Uh, hot, please. Don't judge me. It's fall. I'm living my best fall girl life. Yes, I'm basic. Hashtag PSL season. It's hard, cause it took five years until I found you. Oh, I'm not gonna let you go. Oh, I'm gonna hold you close. It's hard, cause it took five years until I found you. We just can't start it, baby. I can't control myself lately. Oh, but you know that, and you know that, and you know that, and you know that. So we finally made it to Thrift and Dollar. And Are we talking about my hair? How good it is today? Oh my God, we get, I had to wear a hat. My hair was fluffy. I'm like, mm, it's not in the mood to do anything with it today because it's my birthday weekend. I don't have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love that for me. Anyway, so we are at Thrift and Dollar, and this is one of my favorite spots here in Chicagoland. Okay. It's 25,000 square feet of amazing things. It's junk. It's not junk. It's not junk. Okay. Um, so you're going to find a ton of stuff in there. A lot of really good custom made furniture from the likes of Baker, Drexel, Henredon, um, Ethan Allen, the good stuff. That's kind of how we decorated our home or how I decorated our home. Yeah, I love that guy. No. So we bought like the big core upholstered pieces we had custom made at Ethan Allen or picked up at Ethan Allen. And then like the rest of it is like Facebook marketplace stores like this because people just don't buy furniture like that anymore. And they don't appreciate it. No. So like you can find really good stuff out there, you guys, for pennies of what it's worth so just keep that in mind let's go and okay i'm excited let's go <laughs> all right guys but here we are i will put the address down in the description uh, should i really blow the i don't know if i should tell everyone about this but it is such a good store i'm not going anywhere because i feel best right next to you Move next to me and show me all the things you want to do oh, I can't wait to try them all Going around the world in a fancy cars Look at all the stars, I can't believe this is true It took five four years to find you We're just getting started, baby I can't control myself lately Oh, but you know that, and you know that, and you know that, and you know that
see, this is why you don't even drip water on. So you don't drip the water. So Zane is trying to figure out where to eat. We just left Thrift and Dollar. There were a few chairs I liked, don't get me wrong. Um, I wanted to kind of see what this next place has because I've never been. I just found this place on uh, Facebook Marketplace of all places. Place, place, place. And um, I'm kind of excited to see what they have. Maybe they'll have something better. Um, we're both starving because, again, neither of us have eaten yet today and it's 2.30, so there's that. Uh, I think, did you find a Panera? Mm -hmm. I don't eat. Someone's grouchy I'm on my birthday hungry. weekend. Turn hungry. How are you gonna do this on my birthday weekend? I'm buying your lunch. <sighs> mm, daddy's treat me right. Okay, we're gonna get done. So we're at place number two, the Vintage Market. Like I said, I've never been, but I'm excited. Hey guys, and welcome to day two of thrifting. It's a little bit different in time. It's a little different in time. It's now December, late December to be exact. <laughs> I think when we started this vlog, it was what? It was my birthday week, right? Last time was a total bust. I'm like, I don't want to scrap this vlog. So here we are a couple months later. We're going to go into a place called Sparrow's Nest Thrift Store and Donation Center. Super excited to try that out. There's also like a furniture showroom. You all know I love a good piece of furniture. Not that I have room for it in my tiny apartment, but I love furniture. And uh, let's get shopping. I'm ready. Why are you sleeping in a graveyard? Did you like the way you felt? I've been showing all of my cards. When you hoped that I wouldn't tell And it goes one, two, three They pray for me I am working to get free I eat my apologies Cause I do not fit I'm too big The room is Bust. Bust. <laughs> There were a couple things I liked. Like, I really liked that wine cooler, the Italian-style wine cooler, but it was, like, clearly... Marshall's TJ Maxx looking. Um, I liked that long basket. It was only six bucks. I was like, I can put some lemons on that, put it up on top of my kitchen cabinets, but it didn't really feel like standing in line or like having awkward conversations, so it just wasn't worth it to For me. For a basket. For a basket. We're gonna hit a couple more places and then we need to hit like a late lunch. I'm starving. Yes. I'm too big, the room is too small, and I'm getting through with these walls. Blew off the lid, marry the cars. All I want to do is get lost ooh, ooh. Lost ooh, ooh. All I want to do is get lost ooh, ooh. So we're currently at Dunkin Donuts to replenish our energies for the travel ahead Don't know where to look I'm used to vlogging We'll see how it goes We're off to Fox Lake <laughs> 
So the last Good Bowl we went to was absolutely packed. And the parking lot here is just as packed, but I'm looking inside the windows. It doesn't look that busy. Let's hope. Let's hope. All I want to do is get lost. Did you hope to die on a hill? You've been keeping up a ledger that you wrote while standing still. And it goes four, five, six, I'm getting high. You're still trying to get by. All right, so I finally found some stuff. Not mad about it. I'll do like a little haul when we get home, but that was a really good Goodwill. I think we're in what, Great Lake? Yeah, we're near Fox Lake. Fox Lake? We're near a lake. So they have good trash. <laughs> well, I'm not sorry for my size. Cause I do not fit. I'm too big. The room is too small. And I'm getting through with these walls. Blew off the lid. Marry the cost. Cause all I want to do is get lost until I'm caught in the Alright, we're going to hit the last goodwill. Hopefully we have as good as luck with this one as the last one, but that last one was good, not gonna lie. Don't have to decide I can make a lot of places home. I built it inside, you will never know until you try. I'll never get why you just hug the corner of your eye. So this was my childhood crock pot, and this is what my mom would successfully make the world's driest roast beef all the time. So apparently I have a thing for clocks. <laughs> I found this Waterford crystal clock for only $5.99. I'm gonna give it a vinegar bath, shine it up, but $5.99 for a Waterford clock, not bad. Lost. All I wanna do is get lost. We are finally back home. There's my Kelly. No, I did not take a Kelly thrifting today. This vlog, it has been a culmination of several months of effort. Is it good? I don't really know because I don't really remember the first half. Like I said, that was like three or four months ago. Anyway, I'm going to show you some of the trinkets that I got today. My trinkets! And uh, I think I got some really good stuff. I don't normally get this lucky thrifting. Like maybe I'll find like a piece or two, but like to have like a little thrift haul is like very unlike me. And I actually had to have a cart at one of the Goodwills tonight. I never get a card at a Goodwill. I hate those people. I do, safe space. And tonight I was one of them. Like I finally understood what it meant to have a card at a Goodwill. Let me show you these trinkets. So these are my new trinkets. They need a good wash. Here in the Wedgwood pile, I got this whole pile, I think for $14.99 before tax. We love a good deal. First up, we have Canterbury Cathedral. Now, listen, I don't normally go for these, um, like, travel-y ones. Safe space, they're a little hokey, not gonna lie, but this just happened to be, like, taped to it all, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll take it. This is Canterbury Cathedral. There is a small chip, though, here on the side. Whatever, I can throw this on a side table somewhere. Little catch-all. Super cute. Okay, this is kind of exciting. This is not one that I have. Uh, granted, it's a cigarette ashtray, but I don't have this scene. I'm gonna have to look up and see who, who that is and what's going on. I think she's missing a head. She is missing a head. That's okay. Makes it more exotic that way, I guess. Now, this one I do have, and I'm excited because this will make a pair. The Three Muses. This is a very, very, you know, popular Wedgwood motif. This I have in the white with blue colorway, so I'm kind of excited to have the reverse, even though we don't smoke. And then last but not least, the Spade with the Three Muses. Now, when it comes to the Spade Heart Club, and the diamond. I only have a diamond, but it's in green. So it's kind of cool to have a spade in the blue colorway or lilac. We all know this is Wedgwood lilac. Now the way to clean these, use really hot water, soap, and then get a toothbrush and baking soda to kind of make like a paste. And you can really clean up the white stuff really good. All of my Wedgwood's in great shape. Now, when it comes to this sugar bowl and creamer set, these are Johnson Brothers Friendly Village. We use this a lot when we entertain, especially during like Friendsgiving, Christmas. This is one of our favorite patterns. It's a big set, serving pieces, the works. And we drove from Fort Wayne, Indiana to St. Louis, Missouri to pick it up. It's, it's the red stamp. We only collect the red stamp. 
I know, very she-she. But these we already have, but you know, when you're entertaining, you can never have enough service pieces. I picked these up, $1.99 for the sugar bowl in phenomenal shape, no chips. $1.99 for the creamer. Couldn't go wrong, love those. This little clock, I just felt bad for him. He was just so cute. He's a little beat up and I'm sure he has radiation on those like glowing hands, but he was kind of cute, 99 cents. I just, it was kind of giving me like, I don't know, traveling vibes, I guess. This is, oh God, it weighs a ton. Okay. Waterford Crystal. Now I've never had a Waterford Crystal clock. Granted, I mean, these aren't, you know, anything spectacular to come by. This is the Westminster pattern. I paid $5.99, but I just thought it would look nice sitting out on a table somewhere, maybe on my desk back here. I mean, granted, it is disgustingly filthy. The trick to cleaning crystal, though, use blazing hot water because that's not going to leave as much water marks and it's easier to dry. And then once you get all this debris off, then you can really let it soak. I like to add a bunch of vinegar to the bath that I'm sitting it in just so that way, you know, the vinegar kind of helps with some of the etching and, and lead crystal and really brings out the brilliance. So that is my trick to cleaning lead crystal. If you're, oh my God, it's heavy. If you're working with something a little bit more fragile or special, maybe line the bottom of the sink with like a towel or something so that way it doesn't like chip or anything. This was only 10 bucks. New with tags, purple, coach. It's obviously made for factory, but still super cute. Never used. Cosmetics bag. I thought this would be a nice gift to give to Zane's mom. Her favorite color is purple. She loves coach. So I thought this would be perfect. We all need little pouches for catch-alls, right? So that's the haul. So that's that. Was it a good vlog? I don't know. Is it winning any awards? Probably not, but it's something. And I got some good stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Get lost, ooh, ooh. lost, ooh.